Hold up, hold up. Is that just a regular person? <laughs> nah, it's a Z community cutie. What's going on guys? It's me, Tamara Z's. And guess what? The state of the market right now, nobody knows if this shit's gonna go up or if it's gonna go down. And today we're gonna be discussing a strategy that will make sure that you're in the green regardless of whether the market goes all the way up or crashes all the way down. Without further ado, let's get this started. Alright, so the strategy that we're really going to touch up within this series of videos is going to be called the straddle. Now, what the straddle is, it's a combination of you buying a put option and you buying a call option all within the exact same trade. Now, some of you guys might know what buying calls is, but don't know what buying puts is in the opposite situation. Or you might not even know how to do both of these. So in part one of this video, we're actually going to break down what buying calls are and what buying puts are so that you're set up for any type of market situation. So a general overview before we actually start going into the nitty gritty of buying puts on buying calls. For either situation, the maximum loss that you are ever going to face is whatever you paid for buying this put option or buying this call option. And in terms of what your maximum profit can be, Believe it or not, it's actually unlimited. And yep, I'm being serious. You can make unlimited profit potential and your risk is pretty limited as well. Now, what we're gonna do to best illustrate what buying a put option and what buying a call option can do for you, we're gonna have to start off by looking at this graph. Now, all of these little graphs, um, they might be a little confusing at first, so we're gonna break it down step by step. Now, check out this first chart that I made and I know it's kind of plain right now, but we got to start off simple. Now, this is what they call a P&L chart, which is specifically used for options trading. Now, the line that you see on the left that is kind of going upwards, this will show you what your profits are. Anything above this little horizontal line is profits and anything under this horizontal line is losses. And that is why they call it, ladies and gentlemen, the P&L chart, the profits and losses chart. Yep, some groundbreaking news right there. And this line in the center that kind of divides both of these bad boys up is actually the stock price. So with this little horizontal line, the more right that you go, this means that the stock price is actually increasing. The more left that you go, the stock price is actually decreasing. Now, let's actually add a little bit more onto this and, and let's just say that you decide to buy a call option. Now, doing this is going to result in this type of graph. Now, looking at this can be confusing as And again, just to make this super simple for us, anything below the horizontal line is a loss and anything above this horizontal line is a profit. This chart really shows us where we start making profits and where we start making losses. Now, I'm going to add one red dot to this chart. This red dot over here is going to tell us when we start profiting and when we start losing, aka at what stock price does the stock need to be at in order for us to start making money or to start losing money. Now remember, because we said anything over this horizontal line is profits and anything below this horizontal line are losses, this means as the stock price goes up past this red point, yo, it's a big W for the man though. But if the stock price goes down and below this little horizontal line, you just gotta take the L. But make sure you're taking that L into a lesson and that's why you're watching this video today. Now that we kind of understand a little bit more about what this chart is telling us, now let's add some stock prices to this situation. Now let's just say for simplicity's sake, the stock price is going to be anywhere from $0 to $10. This is where it'll trade from like a normal day basis type of thing. Now starting at number one, so notice where this red dot is. It's exactly at the $5 mark and knowing that anything to the left of the horizontal line is when the stock price goes down and anything to the right of the red dot is when the stock price goes up. So knowing this, we know that if it's at $1, we're at a loss. $2, we're taking an L. $3 and $4, we're also taking an L. The exact same thing applies when it comes down to the right side, when the stock price starts going up. When it's at $6, $7, $8, $10, we're taking big Ws over here. But notice something very interesting here, where the red dot is, it's exactly at the $5 mark. So yo, what the hell does this mean? This basically means this is your break even point. 
when the stock price is at this five dollars it is going to tell you hey tamar like you know what you're about to start making profits or yo tamar you know what you're gonna start taking else but exactly at this five dollar stock price you are at zero dollars profits and zero dollars losses and that's why we call it the break even point because you gotta break this point in order to start going in either direction now feel free to replay this part because it might make a little bit more sense after hearing it for a second or even a third time but putting this all together you would want to buy a call option when you are 99.9 percent .9 confident that the stock price is going to increase in the future because on the right side you can see that this diagonal line keeps going up and it's going to keep going up. It's going to keep going up until it hits $1,000 per share, $2,000 a share. But again, it comes down to your risk management. You have to make sure you're going to tell yourself before buying this stock or this option. Okay, you know what? Like once it gets the $10, I'll sell. I won't be too greedy about this. And the beautiful part about buying calls is that your loss is actually limited. And you can really tell this by looking at this flat line on the left side of this chart. Now, the reason why it is flat, because when you are buying a call option, you have to pay a price. This price is called the premium. For example, in this type of situation, if I had to pay, let's just say $5 for this call option, this means that $5 that I put in is gonna be the maximum I'm going to lose. Nothing more, nothing less, unless your broker does not respect you and is making you pay a lot in commissions. So that's, that's a pretty good thing about buying call options. You know, you just lose the money you put in and you're kind of protecting yourself because instead of buying the stock, you're exposed to unlimited losses. Whereas with buying a call option, you're limiting that. Now let's look at buying a put option. Now, buying a put option is the exact opposite of what buying a call option. And as you guys can see by this chart that I'm putting right on here right now, you can tell it looks the exact same thing as we've just analyzed, but it's in the opposite direction. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to give you this graph three seconds. I want you guys to tell me what does the stock price have to do for you to start making profits and what does the stock price have to do for you guys to start taking else? That's it, we're running late on time. So as you've probably guessed, whenever the stock price goes down, you're actually making profits. And when the stock price goes up, you're actually taking L's. Pretty weird, right? But that's the beauty of combining both call options and put options all into one. But let's just focus on buying puts right now. Now, the reason why anybody would buy a put option in the first place is because you're not necessarily pessimistic, but you have a feeling that the stock price is gonna go down and you wanna make profits off of it, so why not, right? Now combining both, buying a call option and buying a put option, and considering the state of the S&P 500 or just the overall stock market, you wouldn't really wanna go with just one of these. Reason being is, let's just say that you decide to buy a call option, right? In this type of situation, what do you guys want to happen? You're right, you want the stock price or the index or the ETF to go up. What happens if the overall market crashes? You're basically screwed. You lost all the money that you put into this call option. Same thing applies if you were to buy a put option. With buying a put option, as we've discussed before, you want the stock price to go down in value. Okay, let's just say you do that. And then the S&P 500 cap pump fakes us and then ends up skyrocketing. You're gonna still be in a situation where you lose all the money that you put in. At this point, it's kind of like a 50-50 situation and, and you don't want those types of odds. You want anything higher than a 50% probability of you taking the W. So here's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to replay this video twice. And if you really need to, a third time. I want you guys to absorb all of this. And once you guys are ready for me to show you guys what the straddle strategy is, let me know in the comment section down below and I'm gonna drop part two of this video. And just to make sure that I know you guys have done your due diligence on buying put options and buying call options, I will drop part two of this video once we hit 30 likes on this video and you guys comment, hey Tamar, I'm done. Or just some sort of indication that you guys have done your part because the next strategy I'm gonna show you in part two is a little bit more advanced. So make sure you guys are doing that and let's make sure that we take advantage of the current market situation right now. Z Community Cuties, thank you guys for watching. This is your boy Tamara Aziz signing out. Peace.